loves welcome back so in today's video i'm going to be showing you two simple looks with the natasha janona eyeshadow palette 5 this is palette 02 for stunning metallics and a beautiful matte shade it's quickly become one of my favorites so for the first look i'm starting with this shimmery nude color which is stunning it's called light coral and i'm just dusting this all over my eyelid lash line to just above the crease and then i'm going in with a blending brush and the shade shell this is like a velvety soft brown shade and i'm buffing this into the crease out of v round and round and round windscreen wiper motions and building it up as a transition color And then I'm sticking with the same matte shade, but I've taken a slightly more tapered, smaller brush and dusting that underneath my lower lash line, blending and buffing it out and a little bit more into the outer V. Then I'm taking a flat brush and the shade Rosewood. This is a metallic brown with a kind of reddish undertone. And I'm sort of swiping and packing this on the outer third of my eyelid. I have to say I was super impressed with the pigmentation. Often with metallic shades, you have to dampen your brush or you go in with your fingertip, but this applied so beautifully and so opaque with just a dry brush, really, really impressed. Sticking with the same brush and the next shade I'm using is called Lavender Grey, but it's basically like a metallic rose gold color and I'm packing this into the middle of my lid. So butting it right up against the other metallic I placed um, and just swiping and kind of pressing and packing that on. And then I'm quickly going in with that matte brown shade just to buff out the edge very slightly so there aren't any harsh lines. Then I'm going in with the next metallic shade. This is a light coral uh, metallic. It was the one that I put all over my eyelid right at the start. I've taken a smaller flat brush and I'm placing that in a corner, kind of in a third, and then I'm intensifying the shade by just using my fingertip. I really wanted to use every single shade in the palette. So the last shade is the metallic kind of maroony deep purple shade. It's called Maroon. I've just taken a very small pencil brush and I'm dusting that underneath my lower lash line. The tones in this palette match perfectly with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeliner pencil. So I'm just popping that on just a little bit on my upper lash line, curling my lashes, just a standard MAC eyelash curler. And then I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk mascara. For the second look, I'm going to do something a little bit deeper and darker and a little bit more smoky. So I'm starting off with that matte soft brown shade and buffing this all over my crease, out of V, a little bit in the inner corner as well, just to kind of build up the colour as a transition shade. Sticking with the exact same shade and a slightly smaller brush, I'm going in pretty much the same area but not as far and as wide just to deepen up and intensify the shade. Then I grabbed a flat brush and the shade Maroon, that beautiful metallic deep purple shade, and I'm swiping this all over my entire eyelid. So lash line to crease. Now it's gonna look a bit choppy and a bit messy to start off, but we're gonna blend the edge, so it'll be fine. So I'm just really taking my time and building up that color, really sort of packing it on and going for it. And then I'm taking the matte shade and a clean fluffy brush and blending the edge out so that the transition shade blends into the purple. And then I'm going back in more purple fingertip really to intensify the shade. I did have a little bit of fallout with that purple shade. So I'm just quickly, quickly cleaning that up and then repeating the exact same on the other eye. I 
used my finger and the shimmery new shade light coral and just popped some right into the center of my eyelid and used my finger to kind of blend out the edges then i applied a little bit of black liquid liner this is just the nyx epic ink liner pen Then I added a little bit of the shimmering nude shade as an inner corner highlight. For mascara, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2. It's a really, really lovely mascara. And there you go. There's the finished second look. I hope you've enjoyed this. This palette has become really quickly one of my favorites. I think it's super versatile and perfect for this time of year. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing and I'll speak to you really soon. Take care.